You're watching old mates. Backyard Tech. Hello all. Weekend Sundays continue here at Backyard Tech. And uh, well, I got the compressor oil. This is the Azito most compressors quality oil, which is good. And then these two were in bargain bins. This was a buck, and this was also a dollar. Um, now, idiot me, and I am an idiot, all right. Um, we all know what this is, okay, and we all know the type of fitting. Only idiot me couldn't remember it. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the fitting is, but you know what it is, and you know the type of fitting. So, I got it there, and I've got the adapter, okay, which is really, really good. So, found my Teflon tape, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to put these, the new fittings on. I'm not throwing this fitting away, alright, I'll keep this fitting, but, uh, yeah, I should have known. <laughs> So, I'll put these back on. Now, as far as the compressor is concerned, uh, I'm hopefully going to get the oil drained today. Uh oh, hang on. Okay, let me continue. I'm hopefully going to get the oil drained today, uh, if I've got time. Um, I've just got to find, oh, I've got to make sure my oil catch can is actually empty completely. There's probably only like maybe 100 mils of oil in it or something. But also, I want to go through my washers, all right, for both the oil filler, the view window and the sump plug as well, or the crankcase plug, whatever you want to call it, who cares, so, anyway, and I'll also get the two new fittings, or one new fitting put on today as well, and uh, with the Teflon tape, so, we'll see how we go, anyway. Uh, I will at least get the fittings done and then I'll go and see if we can get the oil drained out of it. Alright, so I've got one fitting on. I now need to find the other fitting. As I said, I've stripped off most of the Teflon that was on here. Well, I'm probably... Uh, I'm going to have to do the bottom one now. Because it's Teflon tape stuff as well. Damn it. new Teflon tape on this fitting, alright, I'm going to put new Teflon tape on this fitting. Get. 
no Teflon tape left on that one either. Oh. Okay. almost all the way around the thread. I figure if I'm going to resurrect this thing, I want it to work properly. So I figure I might as well just get all the fittings redone. And the thing is, you know, if I end up getting this rattle gun, you know, Obviously, I'm going to come off the fixed air pressure out rather than the variable air pressure out because with a rattle gun, you want full air pressure. Well, no, that's not right. You don't want full air pressure. You want good air pressure. All right. I forgot to do this bit as well before I put the thing back in. Don't want to, you don't want to put these on so tight that you strip the thread out, but when you're restoring or resurrecting something that's you know, pretty special to you, you want to make sure you get it right. pliers out to fix that up. Now, the big test. Good. And this one here doesn't go up until you put a hose in it. So I now have a perfectly good setup. Now, the other thing, which is here, is this little adapter thing for the air gun. I'm going to need my Stanley knife to get that one out. So what this will allow me to do is take the air gun off my little portable compressor and put it on this. Does anyone, or has anyone figured out what old man's fittings are for this compressor? I should have known and didn't. Okay, I should have known and I didn't, I didn't know, which is a bit, you know, unfortunate on my behalf. That does fit in there nicely. Yep. Yep. I can put that back on there now. Is it there? Yep. There we go. So I've got my air hose now back. So has anyone worked out what type of fittings these are? I'll zoom in. Where are we? So see if you can name these fittings. I should have known. I forgot. Which is why I said I was an idiot. Um, I'll give you a clue. They're quarter inch. Alright? They're quarter inch. But what is the actual fitting? I should have known. And I didn't, unfortunately. All right, so now what we're going to do, 
and obviously I won't be throwing this away either. All right, I'll keep that because that's um, it's three eighths. So I'll keep this because you never know. I might end up with an air tool or something or a hose that needs a three eighth connection, and I can put it on either one of these two here. But you know, you don't you don't throw this sort of stuff away. And I mean, the, the thing is. I've always loved this air compressor ever since I got it, and I've used it, but unfortunately, like I've said in a few times of late, you know, things have gone missing on me, and that really, you know, it gets at you, because, you know, if you've got really nice stuff, I mean, I know people look at some of my stuff and say, oh, that's not nice backyard, that's crap, well, it might be crap to you, but for me, it's, it's, you know, it's priceless. It's amazing how many people, you know, when you get something as old as this thing is, right? You gotta remember, she's pretty old. Um, this thing's this thing's absolutely priceless to me. I know some people are sitting there and say, oh, the thing's just a hunk of junk, but I mean, I've always loved King Chrome equipment, and I would never. Zoom out a bit, hang on. I'm trying to zoom the camera out. Except it's not zooming out. What's going on here? Well, that's in. I want out. There we go. This thing's, you know, it's priceless. And even if some people think it's, you know, junk because it's so banged up, I don't care. But the thing now is, is the fact that I've got the fitting. We now can do the oil, uh, hopefully today. And obviously I've got to see if I've got some washers or, or even rubber gaskets or whatever have you for the, uh, for the sump. So there we go. Anyway, well, I'll see what I can do about the oil uh, right now, I guess. We'll continue trying to resurrect it. Back in the tick. Alright, well, whatever oil was in her is no longer there. Um, geez bone dry of oil so what I'm going to do now wait geez she's heavy I've got to be honest with you she's very heavy this thing all right so I'm gonna put the sun plug back in the actual washer for it's actually in good nick so I don't have to worry about the seal on this Lucky. All right. So I've got to find a seal for the filler, which is where it leaked out of, and then I can put new oil in her so I'm gonna go hunting for a new rubber washer for the filler and I'll see what I come up with all right well that's about the best I can come up with I'm just gonna force it over the thread as best I can hopefully it'll cross down a little bit Everything else I've got is either way, way too small or way, way too big. So, it's a bit of a backyard repair, but it'll do. All right. Tell you what, they make these things really difficult to undo, if I'm honest. Okay. 
nice new compressor oil. And I'm going to bend it. Get our work light. You can actually see the full level. Not there yet, I can tell you that right now. Oh, yes, she is. Wow. Okay, she takes half a litre of oil. Alright. Yep. Okay. So I guess what we've got to do is wait for it to move down. Okay. We thought she was a litre sum. She is. Half a litre. It's alright. Now, I'll put this back in. Top back on my compressor oil. I'll just try to. I'll push it back down and in. So I never want to go into these things. It's like buddy. Not the ones you get with defoil on that, right? It's exactly the same. Alright. Shift the time. There we go. Alright. There we are. And she's starting to fill up under there now. So you guys can't see it. That window down here, it, the oil's starting to come up to it. So that's good. So what I'll do now is we'll give it a bit, all right, and uh, we will uh, we'll see what happens. I've got my uh, my hose here, which is good. So we may end up actually completely resurrecting this today, which would be actually really happy. I'd be really happy if we could. I'd be really happy if we could resurrect it today. Um, I'm not saying we will, but it'd be really good if we could. Resurrect it because it gives me an air compressor, and that's the thing, you know. And as I said, you know, most people will probably see this as a you know, utter hunk of junk. I don't, and it's slowly coming down very, very slowly coming down. So, there we go. Alrighty, well, we'll give this a little bit. We'll come back in about 10 minutes. We'll see if it's fallen into the crankcase properly. And uh, we might even try and fire it up. You guys remember when I first got this, how noisy it was. So we'll, uh, we'll try and fire it up. Anyway, we shall be back. Uh, I'll give it about 10 minutes and then we'll come back.
All right. Well, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's uh, let's see what this does. Nothing. Mm. That's interesting. Should be on. All right, try again. Okay, we've got a problem here. Where's my? We have got a huge problem. Look at all this spewing out everywhere. Wow. There's water in that. Holy hell. Let me show you. You might be able to see it, you might not. If I zoom in, you will. It's absolutely spewing out everywhere here. Oh dear. Top off it. All water in the oil. Holy hell. webs. Well, you guys can't see. You might be able to see it there. There's all water in there. I don't know how water's got into it, but all that oil just went milky yellow. You can see it there. Wow. Um, holy hell. I mean, it sounded all right. That's just, that. there's water in that oil. And that's basically hell. I guess it means pulling this all apart. And, uh, Luckily it only took a little bit of oil, so I'm happy with that. But there's a lot of water in there. It builds up pressure alright. There is a lot of water in that crankcase. So, what it means, unfortunately, and very unfortunately, is my compressor needs to be rebuilt. Hang on, I'm just plugging power up. So, it basically means I've got to take the head off, 
top of the crankcase off and empty out all the oil and dry it out and probably have to spray WD-40 all over it as well. Wow. Alright. Well that's a bugger, isn't it? Ah. Uh, Crikey Moses. I don't know how water got into the crankcase. I do not know. But, there's a lot of water in there. Like I've got plenty of compressor oil left. Um, it's not going to be a fun job, I know that. Alright, well, I'll put this plug back in for now. have the gaskets for these so I guess that's what we're gonna to have to do unfortunately bugger all right well there's part two we'll continue resurrecting this in part three at a later date unfortunately anyway guys that's it for the day here at Backyard Tech I'll catch you tonight for the convos cheers